Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give updates regarding the state of Next3 since the last conference. Um, I'm Sebastian Chopin. I'm the co-author of Next.js as well as CEO at Next Labs, company working and uh, pushing forward intuitive web development with Next.js. And you can find me on the social network with Atinux. It's been four months since, since the release of Next3 beta. So far, uh, more than 600 pull requests has been merged. More than 600 issues has been closed as well. Uh, we embraced uh, more than 100 new contributors on the framework. So thank you very much for your involvement. And we have seen more than 400 unique, 1,000 unique visitors on the new documentation. Thank you also for supporting us on GitHub by starting the repository. So what's new since uh, the last um, conference? We've been added the middleware support, thanks to the work of Daniel and Puya. You basically define uh, a middleware like in Next2. <clears throat> and for those that don't know Next uh, and the middleware, middleware are quads between two pages. So when you navigate on client side or even from server side, if you want to protect a boot, you can define the middleware. Like the pages, you simply have to create a, pay, uh, a file. Here, um, I have the auth.ts. Uh, which is TypeScript, but you can also use a JavaScript extension. And you define a next root middleware. Uh, before, it was directly exporting a function. We prefer now to uh, use a, a function to define a function. This way, you have autocomplete thanks to TypeScript, even if you don't use TypeScript. <clears throat> and in that case, I'm simply checking a, a username state. And if the username is not defined, I will redirect to uh, the home page. And then I have my secret page where I will use a macro called define page meta. And if we want to go more into details, the define page meta is a macro view which will be uh, run, <clears throat> not at runtime, but before, which allow us to extend the router configuration and apply this directive before uh, creating the component. And basically, uh, you have a link to the documentation. But if I look at the demo on stack leads, I do have my index page, the use state. Then I have my secret page using the middleware out. And automatically, Next will check out this um, code. So if I try to access the secret page, I will have, sorry, you need to fill your username. And once I write my username, I can access the secret page. UState is a composable of Next3 that allow you to share a um, state across different components. And it also supports server-side rendering and hydration. Going back to the middleware support, this is done. We've been working on supporting theming. Uh, this is uh, still a work in progress, but so far, you have multiple ways of defining a theme. And this is through the extends configuration key. You can use a directory, or you can use the GitHub prefix and directly use a repository. Public, of course. Uh, we'll see how to improve and have this private repository later on. Or you can also use an array, and the latest one will be, um, the first one will be the priority. You can take a look at the um, pull request on GitHub. And also, we do have a demo. So if we look at the pull request, you're going to see that we are using the C12 package. Um, most part of uh, the Next framework are split into smaller packages that are more easily maintainable and testable. And we actually support the components directory. And if I take a look at the example so far, I have my next config that is saying extend this theme. And the theme here is a next application, which is basic and that has a base button component. And if I create the same component at the top level, it will automatically overwrite the normal component. You can also take a look at the examples directory. I highly recommend to look at these examples on the framework. 
and you can see also um, how to run this example and see how it works under the hood. On this one, it's more advanced. We're using the public runtime config in order to give um, um, tokens that you can, um, I highly recommend to play with this, uh, give us feedback. Next step will be adding pages, plugins, and all the next feature through a theme. So next one <clears throat> has been a long awaited feature is the hybrid rendering. We're calling hybrid rendering because it's much more powerful than what we have on Next2. As you know, in Next3, uh, thanks to the server engine called uh, Nitro, that is currently being uh, exported to uh, the NGS organization called Nitro Pack, um, will allow us to, is actually allowing Next to run in a serverless environment, such as Vercel, Netlify, uh, Layer Zero, and others but also the possibility to run in a Cloudflare workers. So you will have Next running without any Node.js dependency, but still have this uh, dynamic rendering. On top of that, we're adding the caching rules per page and the static site generation, which is basically pre-rendering all the pages at build time, so you can serve them without having any dynamic rendering or on-demand rendering. This will also allow us to uh, work on several components, which is selective rendering. And you can definitely participate in the open discussion we have on GitHub to understand how it works. And if you're happy or not regarding this API, feedback is definitely more than welcome. We are listening to other comments to find the best developer experience for everyone using Next. Going back to slides. Next one is test utils because it's highly important for us to test the framework, but also for us to test our next projects and the next module. Antonio has been working on VTest so far. We're quite happy about uh, the result and we are implementing it in this open pull request. If you are adventurous enough, you can take a look at this, which has been already made by Puya a few minutes ago, 10 minutes ago. So expect some demo coming. You can definitely participate in our roadmap. We try to have all the uh, features coming uh, public. We are working on the, the priorities, so you will be able to see what will be the next feature to be implemented. But so far, uh, you can take a look at all the open RFC. You can upvote, comment, just add a thumbs up if you find it nice. And if you say, um, bold enough, you can start uh, implementing it and we do our best to comment and guide you on the pull request. This is in the discussions on GitHub, RFC, and you can see the big feature that's going to be added in the framework. Then we have the next modules. You may have seen the website that has been updated uh, thanks to Anthony Fu, who migrated to Next3 and Uno CSS, as well as uh, the contributors helping on this website. It is open source. It is available on Next slash modules on GitHub. And we have more than 800 computer contributors. Uh, this is really uh, beautiful to see. And so far, we have 12 modules available on Next3 but we do plan to work uh, with the framework team on the official one. We have Next Content V2 that we are actually uh, beta testing internally, making sure the API is sexy enough before opening the public beta in March. Next image will follow as well. Next out has to be uh, reimagined with the new composable system, as well as the PWA to see what will be part of the core and what will be uh, the uh, next null module. For all the modules from the ecosystem, you can already participate and help us uh, migrate to Next3 with this uh, module author guide that Puya himself wrote. This is a long uh, article, but I highly recommend to understand all the um, features and what you can do today with the Next module. The documentation is also a big part in order to understand how Next works and we've been working on it. 
so far um, we have been pushing the rendering mode page in the concepts a lot of uh, the internal uh, how next works internally as well as next kit for the module and the life cycle hooks so you have a better vision of how next works next one is definitely improving the concept section we realized that the current next three documentation is a it's already an advanced documentation, so we are adding back a beginner example, beginner understanding of why using Next, what is the difference between Next 2 and Next 3, and why we are pushing uh, View 3 as well as Vite. We are going to add the framework example that you can find on GitHub so far, but we want to list them, make them interactive, so you can already play with Next online without having to do all the installation steps as well as the recipes, because we all need to configure our um, code editor, explaining how TypeScript is implemented. So you don't need to fear TypeScript because at the end you don't need to touch any TypeScript uh, configuration with Next. And obviously, which is the hardest part so far, is the release note, because as you know, every time we push to the framework on the main branch, there is a new edge release, which is done. Uh, you can use the Nuxi upgrade command that will list you all the commits in between two versions. But as soon as we have the release candidate, which is planned for March 2022, I can't give a date because, as you know, uh, we're in computer science and it's hard to give a specific date today, but it will happen in March. Once this is done, we'll have release note and you will be able to use Next in production with confidence. You can check out the documentation on v3.nextjs.org. I highly recommend also to take a look at the GitHub repository. That's where everything is happening today. Um, you can also check the Twitter, next underscore GS, where we push the highest news. And thank you very much for your time. And I think I would let Puya now deep dive into the features we've been added.